Hello, it's 9 p.m. in Arts. This time to English new edition for tonight's headlines. So we have the Prime Minister yeah, at the National Assembly. For the national scene, COVID-19 reforces sanitary restrictions in European uh, metropolises. Uh, Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, the opening of a uh, budget session is at the National Assembly today. The opening sessions of the budget session of the National Assembly took place uh, this morning, chaired by the Speaker of the National Assembly, Muhammad Ali Muhammad, and, and in the presence of the Prime Minister, His Excellency Abdul Qadir Kamil uh, Muhammad. Uh, The ceremony began with the national anthem and the mi minute of silence to the late Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Jabir Al Ahmed Al Sabah, whose Djibouti began yesterday the national mourning of two days to pay tribute to him. It is uh, during the Badia session that the elected representative of the people will debate and exchange and the exchange with a view to adopting the state budget for the coming years, uh, a major act that involves a foresight, sense of responsibility and priority. This budget session that is about to begin promises to be rich and extremely productive uh, with debate and work that will converge the general interest of the population and the economic development of the country. The opening session was attended by member of government, parliamentarian, the representative of international organization, the prefect of the interior region, the military officers and civil society. The president of the National Assembly, Mohammed uh, Ali Muhammad, uh, welcomed the parliamentarian and member of government to this new budgetary year. Bienvenue à tous au sein de cet hémicycle et merci d'honorer par votre précieuse présence cette séance d'ouverture de la session budgétaire de l'Assemblée nationale. The formats dedicated to the budget session will undoubtedly be the most important of the year for the functioning of our country. Indeed, it is during the budget session that elected officials debate and exchange the view with a view to adopting the state budget for the coming year, a major act that implies clear sightness, uh, a sense of responsibility and priorities. The opening of this session came at a time when our country is trying to recover from a global pandemic that has t shaken our life in society and is to some extent shaking the foundation of our project and our socioeconomic structure. In order to face the COVID-19 pandemic, our country, under the impetus of the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gilly, may Allah assist him, has taken concrete measures that have enabled the country to effectively combat this pandemic. These measures have enabled our country to protect our population while meeting their basic needs. Moreover, in line in line with the values of mutual aid and national solidarity, 
to our compatriot. The nation has responded favorably to the appeal launched by the head of state. And as the saying of popular wisdom goes, solidarity must be enlightened in the shadow of hope. The mobilization of resources to fight against COVID-19 on the national territory, we certainly rejoice even if we aspire to more. The National Assembly has largely participated in the impetus of the national solidarity and the mobilization of solidarity funds to help the government to better manage the health situation related to the COVID-19 pandemic in the country. Honorable member, dear colleagues, my commitment to you remains frank and intact. My political action has always been driven by a single will to humbly serve and the interest uh, of all Djiboutian and to serve you with honor and sincerity. For his part, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed indicated the negative uh, consequence uh, of the COVID-19 had on the whole national territory, but in the whole world. Listen to this report. L'ouverture de la session budgétaire est une tradition nationale. The opening of the budget session is a national tradition which makes it possible to express the budgetary orientation of the government's policy and marks the beginning of the political season. This year it's taking place in an unprecedented national and international context. The world has just experienced a very serious health crisis. Djibouti has not been spared, but at the initiative of the President of the Republic, the government has very early adopted measures to test trace and treat, however, even before any expression on the substances of the subject that brings us together, I would like to associate myself with the pain of those who have been struck uh, by, this, by the disease of COVID-19 or who have lost a loved one. I also want to salute the work of all those who have fought to heal uh, and save lives, and there are many of them, those of uh, in, the, in the medical and first aid spheres, uh, but also those who risked their lives on the front lines to enforce government's lockdown guidelines, and those who continue to work to ensure the provision of basic necessity and the continuity of public services, particularly, particularly those of RTD, Djibouti Telecom and social network, which have played an important role in providing preventive information to the population and all those who have also complied with government instruction. In this regard, I would like to thank the entire population without the participation of everyone. The country would not have been able to hold its ground against the epidemic. This work is not finished. We still need to remain vigilant and we must respect the barrier gestures, uh, which are constantly remanded by the health authority. If we have won a battle against the virus, we have not yet won the war. We must not forget that this virus kills. Uh, unfortunately, it is not yet possible to eliminate it safely with a medicine or to protect ourselves from it with a vaccine. We must therefore continue to strengthen our prevention actions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, we have seen once again that as in all wars, uh, in the, it is the most vulnerable who suffer the most. This health crisis immediately led to the serious economic crisis, and the most vulnerable are those who are in the most critical economic situation. That's why, from the very beginning of the crisis, the government has put in place uh, national solidarity measures uh, to address uh, the financial and social consequences of this health crisis, uh, thus in order to continue to provide the necessary resources to all those who had to abruptly cease their activity during the lockdown. The salary of private sector employees continued to be paid. This was made possible thanks to the distribution of funding between the state the companies and the employees themselves. In this way, mass layoff were avoided. I salute this gathering of solidarity of all employers and all their employee, 
employees who follow the government miseries, but it is especially toward the most vulnerable that the government's effort was very quickly directed programs to support disadvantaged population have been deployed more rapidly by the ministries in charge, such as those of national solidarity, women and family, agriculture, rural development. I am not forgetting also those of health and national education, especially as far the areas of the interior region are concerned. The working class neighbor neighborhoods of Djibouti, where many people live in informal sector, have not been neglected. The food aid distribution were, were quickly carried out through the country. Ladies and gentlemen, Member of Parliament, I confirm that government is not lowering its guard in this fight in order to follow the evolutions of the disease and to anticipate possible new protective measures to be taken. I continue to share the steering committee and even if the scientific subcommittee, this committee will create in the first hours of the scientific subcommittee appearance of COVID-19 cases in the world. Today, the permanent monitoring of the sanitary situation is still carried out by the person in charge who have been designated by government. The international community on several occasions has underlined the exemplary and rapid work done by the government to fight against this pandemic. This result is the pride of the Djiboutian people is entirely. In the second part of his speech, the Prime Minister has uh, indicated that the economic revolution and the large-scale projects that are being carried out in the Republic of Djibouti to absorb uh, unemployment uh, and to become uh, an East African hub. Uh, listen to this report. Mesdames et Messieurs les députés, je dois aussi préciser que cette crise du COVID-19... Ladies and gentlemen, Member of Parliament, I should also point out that, that this COVID-19 crisis uh, has had an impact uh, on the progress of the major development project on which the government is working on. All these major projects that have been transforming the economic and social landscape of the country for several years now, they have now all resumed their activities. I refer here to all those, these major projects that will consolidate the activities the transformation of Djibouti into the modern economic and financial center open to the world. I am thinking of all these projects that will further enhance the efficient infrastructure of ports and free zones that have already been built. Thus, we know today that in addition to the usual traffic of containers at the ports of Dorale, the transport by sea of refrig refrigerate containers, uh, this additional traffic demonstrates that our port is competitive enough to also handle perishable goods. Uh, it is the creation of new trade canals between Africa and the rest of the world that's done in this way. This must be emphasized because it is not just a simple increase in port traffic. It is the opening of a new file of port activity in Djibouti. The port of Djibouti will now, in addition to ambition, to increase its share in the international market for this new activity, the transport of refrigerated containers. We also appreciate the fact that the port of Tajora, with the new road, with the new international road from the north to Balho and Ethiopia, is now fully operational. We will soon measure all these positive effects, both direct and indirect, on all the economic players in the region. Indeed, we will see that the creation of new ancillary activity and therefore new jobs will take place in the northern region as it did around the capital after the construction of the very important port infrastructure of Torale, a new pole of development is now created in the north of the country. But above all, we will soon see that the Damerjok Industrial Park, for which the first preparatory work began in 2018, will quickly become one of the biggest achievements of the country. Initially, it will be a large oil port, terminals and storage of area, but later on 3,000 hectares, a heavy industrial base will be added.
with oil storage areas, a uh, refinery, and an NG terminal and cheap repair shop, uh, a power plant uh, of a building material factory. This will revolutionize the economic activity of Djibouti in the same way that we have seen our country transform over the past 50 years the port of Dorale and the new free zones such as those of Pika 23 have changed the structures of our economy. This economy was previously based solely on the activity of the old port of Djibouti, the small free zone that was packed it by it. What has been imagined in this major project will become a, an even greater achievement which will profoundly transform the country. The President of the Republic will always be for us the great visionary of the development of the country, the man who allows to revive the hope of Jewishian people. I believe that the leap of scale in the country's growth will be even greater than the one achieved with the creation of the Dorale Port Complex. Uh, it is like a new beginning in development, indeed, with this huge project based on the realities of Ethiopian gas production, new production sector will appear in Djibouti. It will no longer be a growth of the trade, transport, and logistics sector. It will be the emergence of new production activities, those of the processing industry and heavy industry related to the petroleum product and methane. Ladies and gentlemen, the prospect for job, uh, jobs and business startup of all sizes of are enormous. Uh, the Pika 23 free zone will probably become too small and extensions will have to be considered. Uh, but we, will. we must be ready for this great uh, achievement for your employment. Uh, the government is already preparing for it at the level of training and education in collaboration with the ministries concerning such as labor and various vocational and technical training. The government will adapt higher education and technical training to the new criteria for the positions to be filled. Matching training and employment is the key to success in youth employment. I am confident that all together we will succeed in the battle for employment for Jewishian. We know that in work has as international trade competition is fierce. The government will always be at the side of Jewishian use so that they are always the best and can integrate the, into the economic life of the country. This can once again be verified during the new phase of industrialization of the economy, national retailers and industrial park. Industrial, the Jewishian entrepreneurs also I appeal I also appeal to you small, medium and large Jibutian investors for you to prepare now this new industrial uh, development that will accompany the new conversions of our economy. We live in liberal economic system in which nature abhor a vacuum. We must be among the first to, to succeed. I strongly reiterate that the government wants Djiboutian to occupy the maximum place in our development. The prospects and investment opportunity are great in our country. We must invest and work in Djibouti. Many foreigners show that there are great opportunities uh, in our country. You have to occupy the largest shares of this new activity. The Prime Minister concluded his speech uh, by reiterating to all companies uh, and uh, entrepreneurs to take part in the economic development by setting up uh, enterprises uh, and start-up. Listen for more detail. Mesdames et Messieurs, pour répondre à cet important potentiel de développement industriel, Ladies and gentlemen, to respond to this important potential for industrial development, the Minister of Energy is considering with EDD a rapid and significant development of electricity production from green energy sources. Uh, the projects are now and will be materialized soon as a very important installation of wind turbine is underway between Gubet and La Casale. A file of solar panel will be installed in the Barra. A production of the geothermal energy will be developed in Galalikoma and uh, in Halle, in Garabais uh, at first, uh, nearly 
200 megawatt will ultimately be produced by these renewable energy projects. This will enable us to meet the new energy needs for the growth of our economy and will also reduce our energy dependency and even implement a policy of reducing selling prices. Uh, but the government also plans to exploit new sources of renewable energy in the future. The studies are being undertaken to develop tidal energy with tidal turbines, uh, which will open up major new development prospects. Research in all fields is launched in our country. We must also be imaginate, imaginative to support the implementation of the health state vision. The development of green energy will strengthen the development of our geographical position in terms of telecommunication. This communication app of submarine cable between Asia, Africa, and Europe will be strengthened. Our country will become a major international financial, commercial, communication, and telecommunication center. This will benefit not only the capital, but all regions. Uh, the development of digital is one of the strengths uh, of Djibouti. It is not alone. Tourism has been reported several times. This sector has been retained by the government to serve as a laboratory for the implementation of the program of monitoring and evaluations of the government action. This program, under my authority, has suffered from the daily caused by the consequences of the COVID-19, but it is resuming. I can tell you that the prospects for the development of the tourism sector are great and promising. Our tourist sites will be valorized, as will be the case, for example, the Lacabe and the clay moods for therapeutic purposes for its uh, development, uh, the tourist sector will benefit from the peaceful environment offered by our country. Social peace, political stability, and economic financial context are important assets. Major hotel construction projects are underway, but many others are in preparation for international hotel chains. Ladies and gentlemen, Member of Parliament, the government's work does not stop us fighting the pandemic that it is hitting the walls and threatening our people, nor does it stop at the implementation of major structuring projects that will continue to transform our economy for the happiness of our children. The government is also working every day to respond to the daily concerns of expectation the entire population. Everyday life reducing the difficulties left by every Djiboutian or Djiboutian, the immediate improvement of living conditions for all, for all citizens are among the major concerns of the President. Since September 2019, the government has been tackling this task in a way different from other years. The rapprochement with the people has been carried out in a new way. The government has listened to the citizens in the very places where Djiboutians were experiencing difficulties. Government towers were organized in all regions of the interior. In addition to the prefecture and other localities in each region was visited with the participation of prefect and general councils. Uh, the government paid close attention to speeches by local elected officials, regional administrative officials, and other representatives of the resident. Their grievances were collected and analyzed and filled for to transmission to the relevant technical ministries, the head of government followed the work, the work of the, all the ministers with the greatest attention. At the beginning of the year, the President of the Republic made a point of going to the file himself to listen to this grievance. Uh, he was able to verify to the initial response provided meet the expectation of the population. He determined the, pro the priority of the new request. The Minister of Finance and Economy, Elias Musa Dawali, has received in his office uh, uh, potential American investors uh, from Universal Construction Company and AgroFund, the one headed by Mr. Dirane Asete. At the end of this meeting, the discussions focused on the above ground culture, otherwise known as hydroponics, uh, 
this method of growing plants in waters by injecting mineral nutrition uh, into the water, an alternative technique that has had some success uh, with the uh, water si recycling system. This delegation intends to develop in Djibouti an exclusive hydroponic system that allows the production of fresh food grown locally while ensuring the sustainability of water and energy. The establishment of several weather resistance greenhouse structures with the subtropical hydroponic uh, system. Uh, this meeting was attended by the Minister of Agriculture, Mohammed Ahmed Awale, and the advisor to the Minister, Mr. Ibrahim Hamadou and Abdul Qadir Duale. The Minister of Health, uh, Mohammed Warsama Diriye, received the member of the new Council of Order to the medical professionals who have just been elected by their peers last Saturday. The minister is meeting uh, with the new member of the Council of Order to took place in the presence of the Secretary General of Health, uh, Dr. Maike Mohammed Musa. The Minister of Health, Mohammed Warsamadiri, took the opportunity to discuss the ideals so that uh, underpin these institutions as the principle of morality, probity, dedication is essential. Uh, uh, to this exercises of medical uh, professions, but also to the observance uh, and professional duty and ethical rules. Uh, the Minister of Health uh, in person also congratulate the new president of the Council of the Medical Professions in the person of the visceral surgeon, uh, Suleiman Nur Aye. This council is uh, established by a presidential decree in September 2007 and is composed of 11 national uh, members including eight doctors and dental surgeons and two pharmacists uh, who are regularly registered uh, on the role of the order and have been practicing for at least five years. The Minister of Equipment Transport, Musa Mohamed Ahmed, has received in his uh, office uh, the new ambassador of the Federal and Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, Mr. Brehanu Abera. During this contact, the, the, ministers wel the minister welcomed uh, the new ambassador and then the two personalities made an overview of the many issues shared by the two countries in general and especially in terms of port performance, road, rail and air transport. Finally, the two officials uh, expressed their satisfaction with the close and privileged relations shared by the two countries and their peoples uh, their wish uh, to further strengthen these ties. Uh, the Secretary General of the Minister of Health, Dr. Mi'ek Mohammed uh, Musa, received a large consignment of surgical masks which was handed over to him by the Secretary General of the Minister of Economy and Finance, uh, Mr. Abdurazak Ahmed Idris, it is a donation is graciously granted by the Eastern and Southern Trade, African Trade and Development Bank through the Department of Finance. The reception ceremony took place in the CAM premises in the presence of the Director of DPC, Mr. Mr. Noura Abdi, and the Director of CAM. These uh, valuable donations will help ensure a secure environment for health workers. Uh, who are on the front lines uh, of the response to COVID-19. For his part, the Secretary General of the Minister of Health, Dr. Mike Mohamed Musa, made a point of thanking the generous donors through the Department of Economy and Finance for this highly beneficial gestures in this regard. Dr. Mike recalled the solidarity and inclusiveness uh, that is reflected in this grant action uh, which reinforces uh, the multilateral natures of our national fight against COVID-19. The Secretary General of Health, Dr. Mike Mohamed Musa, thanked the generous donor through the Department of Economy for this highly beneficial gesture. The reception of class uh, for high school students in general and technical schools uh, of uh, in compliance with the anti-COVID uh, barrier gestures uh, following the example of the peers from the rest of the countries, high school students from the general and technical secondary of Addis Abeba went back to their uh, Schools they said that more than 550 high school students from Addis Abeba city uh, resumed the, 
classes yesterday to uh, morning that the heads of schools and teachers were present to welcome the students. The prefect of tradition, Mr. Musa Adam Migane, accompanied by the president of the regional council, Omar Ahmed Waiz, the inspector of the national education, Mr. Ahmed Hamadou Ibrahim, yesterday conducted towers of inspection in the main schools in the city of uh, Addis Abeba to personally ensure the smooth runnings of these schools. First of all, the leaders of the region on their companion went to the Ari High Schools upon their arrival uh, at the gate, the officials and their companion were welcomed by the principal Ahmed Abdelkader Okie, who welcomed them to his uh, school. So a few moments later, he introduced them to the second year classes. The distinguished visitors all wished the new students a good school year and successful admission for junior high school to high school. The Food Analysis Laboratory, known as LANA, and the company Jibahsal, is uh, deals with the realizations of microbiological and uh, physicochemical analysis of seafood, uh, in this case uh, cephalobob and the crustaceans of the company Jibah, which is a seafood export company on the international market. Uh, Mr. Hassan Mahkamil Ali, general manager of LANA, and Mr. Aleya Isa Guti, general man manager of Jibah, signed this partnership agreement on Wednesday. This signature uh, took place in the press prices of company Jibah. This partnership agreement follows the UKF uh, ICO in 17025 uh, uh, 2017 accreditations of the Laboratory National of Analysis, uh, which now demonstrate. Uh, their competence and their ability to produce accurate, reliable, and valid test results of analysis, uh, thus reinforcing the confidence placed in them both uh, nationally and internationally. As a result, LANA is committed as soon as uh, its accredited uh, UKF uh, ISO uh, 17025 uh, 2017 to carry out this uh, official analysis under accreditation is as a priority and to apply the reference method in force. For the international scene, Madrid and its uh, 3 million inhabitants uh, as well as 9 outlying municipalities will soon be isolated from the rest of Spain as soon, the, as, soon as the decree prepared by the Ministry of Health is pu published in the next few days. Uh, the autonomous community of Madrid will have to comply with it. The central government say, says it has no choice because it meets all the criteria a com contamination rate of more than 500 per 100,000 inhabitants over the last two weeks, uh, an intensive care unit occupancy rate of more than uh, 35% of the PCR positivity rate of more than 10%, Salvador Ayla, Spanish Minister of Health, explained the government's decision is today's uh, new data, 4,810 new cases. Uh, this is the second largest daily increase in cases since the beginning of the second wave. The case of COVID-19 in Madrid represents 43.7% of the total new cases in our country. Spain has had uh, 769,000 uh, cases of COVID-19 since the beginning of the pandemic and almost uh, 32,000 deaths, uh, including 177 yesterday, Wednesday. By way of comparison, in France, state of health emergency is triggered when the incidence rate reaches 250 cases per 100,000 inhabitants. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks for watching us. Uh, have a good uh, evening.